All right, we just got a new one in today. This is Shelby. Shelby looks like, uh, if I had to make a guess, I would say there's some Greyhound and some Lab and about 40 other things in her. But I'm just gonna call her a, a, a Greyhound Lab mix because that's the two breeds that kind of popped out at me at the very beginning. And Shelby is, she's a pretty good dog. Her leash manners are horrible, and uh, her main problem is she's terrified of anybody that approaches her. So, like when they dropped her off, she was in the truck, I walked up to greet, greet the owners, and she started growling and puffing up, but also backing up at the same time. So she's not aggressive, she's just scared, and that's her way to try to say, back off, man, I'm scared of, I'm scared, and and I might make a bad choice. So uh, gotta get her confidence up. I'm gonna get some work with her obedience, get her around people, make people a good experience for her. So that's our main goal with Shelby. As you can see, she's, if I walk by her, if I walk up to her, she just tries to kind of dart off, see if. So just her being like right here. Show me. Good girl. Oh, good. That was the first time she's done that. Honestly, I'm already shocked that she even did that because normally she's pulling backwards on the leash and trying to get out and just terrified. And I'm just standing here, not doing a thing. And this is honestly the biggest, one of the best things you can do with a dog like this is just kind of uh, be calm and patient and ignore it and let them work through it for the first It's gonna be a couple days before I really get hands-on with her and uh, But for now Probably what we'll do is I'm just gonna keep keep a leash on her and just walk with her and get to know her Shh, You guys calm down Get to know her get her comfortable around me hearing my voice and try not to put a lot of pressure on her Huh. Good. You see there, she came up, she actually sniffed my hand. I didn't reach out to try to pet her. Did not try to come over the top of her head or anything like that, but most people will do. You know, it's gonna be that one person that has to say, you know, you know who you are, the people that are like, all dogs love me. No, they don't, I promise you. I work with them every day and I can tell you, Dogs do not just love me. They, they grow to like me, but at first, they don't just love me. You're just lucky you haven't had been, been bitten. So do ne never come up to a dog that looks scared or timid and try to come over the top of them and, and pet them and prove that you're a nice person. That's not going to work. Best thing you can do is remain calm. They do not need, you do not need to put your hand out and say, sniff me. That does nothing. They can smell you from across the room. Dogs respond the best to calm body language and, you know, if you're a nervous Nancy or you're excited or you're trying to, oh, come here, it's okay, I love dogs, love me. No, they don't. Just calm down and let the dog get through it and act like they're not even there. So I'll show you, I'm just gonna walk around with her a little bit. Oh, she's laying down. Wow. Um, that didn't last long. I'm just gonna kind of walk around the building a little bit here and you can kind of just see how she is. My wife's coming up the driveway so she's hearing the car come up. But, uh, so anyway, I'm just gonna walk around with her a little bit. So she thinks, like she's starting to think she wants to give me some, she wants to give me some attention and I'm not going to let her. 
So I'm kind of going to work a little reverse dog psychology on her, make her want to come to me because she's not seeing me as as much of a threat now. Right now she's thinking, what's this guy doing? He's not even looking at me. Now that's a good body language right there from her. Her mouth's open, her tongue's out. She's relaxing a little bit. So you'll notice every time I walk that way, she kind of pulls toward that end of the building. I want, I'm hoping in this video, she'll, she'll just let me walk by her without pulling away. So I'm just killing her, killing her with boredom. So we've made a couple passes now and we're not getting a lot of tension on the leash. All right, we're gonna end it there. I'm actually gonna put her away, let her decompress in the kennel, get her some water. And uh, so that's, like, she just got here. This video is now at seven minutes and 50 seconds. She's been here literally 15 minutes. So uh, stay tuned for Shelby. This will be a fun one. Huh, baby? Huh? Oh, see, woo, she didn't like that. So as soon as I tried to give her some attention and I got ahead of myself, she didn't like that. Now she's on edge again. All right, toodles.